My only sort of discomfort with the report and its recommendations is that although it was an address-specific uh, committee, particularly the, the, the recommendations about the dismissal of the MCE, MC, uh, the training of DCEs, and then um, district security councils and metropolitan security councils ought not to have been limited to a shanty region, I think. As Honorable Tobu argues, the underpinning tensions, not about the death per se, but the speed with which anger boiled over, the failure of intelligence and their incapacity to analyze, the weakness of security governance decision-making from the police commander to the district and all the metropolitan chief executive, all the way to the regional minister, mm. demonstrates this complexity of interlocking failures. Right. And we've seen it in other parts of the country where security decision making is either slow, is based on false or faulty intelligence, is based on weak analysis, offering very poor options for response. Laws were right from when the, the victim was brutalized, mm. the edge or the expectation of the community and the family, right. or a duty of care, the lack of sensitivity by the police commander, mm. a failure of the National Intelligence Bureau individual for the area also, mm. the municipal chief executive's disgraceful, dismissive, unacceptable behavior. And that intelligence flaw or the break in the intelligence cycle was that it took the minister a considerable number of days for him to intervene. And that intervene, that intervention was limited to a military option, mm. which was most unfortunate.